Scooter Braun claims Taylor Swift's team refused his offer to sell back her masters. Hey guys, welcome back to another shared news from home. We have all the details on Scooter Braun's latest comments regarding the Taylor Swift master saga. But before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I am your host, Fiona Zaring. There is a lot to unpack, so let's just get right into it. According to Taylor, she hoped to make a deal with Scooter to regain ownership of her masters at that time but ultimately an agreement was never reached. Since then, Taylor started re-recording and re-releasing her old albums, and fans are, of course, loving this. It has been so much fun. We haven't heard too much regarding the drama. We've all just been focused on getting new Taylor Swift songs from the vault and enjoying the rebirth of all of this old music. But in a new interview with Variety, Scooter was asked how he views the situation today, and his response was pretty interesting. He explained, I regret and it makes me sad that Taylor had that reaction to the deal. All of what happened has been very confusing and not based on anything factual. I don't know what story she was told. I asked for her to sit down with me several times, but she refused. He also shared his view on why they were unable to reach a deal, saying, I offered to sell her the catalog back and went under NDA, but her team refused. It all seems very unfortunate. Open communication is important and can lead to understanding. At the time, in a letter to fans, Taylor shared her take on the process, explaining Scooter's team wanted her to sign a quote, Ironclad NDA stating I would never say another word about Scooter Braun unless it was positive before we could even look at the financial records. She continued saying, I would have to sign a document that would silence me forever before I could even have a chance to bid on my own work. If you remember, Taylor wrote this letter to fans after her team received a letter from Shamrock Holdings letting them know that they had bought 100% of her music, her videos, and her album art from Scooter. At the time, she wrote, quote, This was the second time my music has been sold without my knowledge. The letter told me that they wanted to reach out before the sale to let me know, but that Scooter Braun had required that they make no contact with me or my team or the deal would be off. Now, Scooter's attachment to her work was never going to fly with Taylor. She shared, quote, as soon as we started communication with Shamrock, I learned that under their terms, Scooter Braun will continue to profit off my old musical catalog for many years. I was hopeful and open to the possibility of a partnership with Shamrock, but Scooter's participation is a non-starter for me. Now, it has been some time since Taylor shared that letter with fans, and in his new interview, Scooter, Scooter shared his view on his relationship with Taylor over the years. He shared he was able to briefly meet with Taylor three or four times in the past. He described the interactions as really friendly and kind. He said, quote, I find her to be an incredibly talented artist and wish her nothing but the best. Now, Scooter also told Variety that he was very confused when Taylor wrote that she had been on the receiving end of his, quote, incessant manipulative bullying for several years, which of course was exacerbated by the behavior of his clients like Justin Bieber and Kanye West. He said, the thing that struck me the worst is the word bully. I'm firmly against anyone ever being bullied. I always try to lead with appreciation and understanding. He continued saying, the one thing I'm proudest of in that moment was that my artists and my team stood by me. They know my character and my truth. That meant a lot to me. In the long run, I'm happy for my life's work to be the legacy I leave behind. Now, at this time, neither Taylor or her team have made any sort of response to Scooter's latest interview, but I certainly think it's safe to say fans are dying to hear her take on this. That is everything we have to share with you for now. We, of course, want to know your thoughts on Scooter's latest claims and also this entire saga overall. Let us know down in the comments. And of course, if you are not already subscribed to our channel, make sure you do. Make sure you ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. As always, I am your host, Fiona Zaring. You can check out my socials at Fiona Zaring. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.